What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Curious's exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Curious. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Thank you for your assistance. It's raised my men's spirits quite a bit. I'm sorry to bother you, but Second Councillor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. Please, go speak to the Second Councillor as soon as possible. That noise! I'm not alone. It takes a strong will to command the dragon's soul. Perhaps you aren't as powerful. What do you need, Guardian? What do you need to take? Until next time, Guardian.
Your actions here have been a blessing to us all, Sergio. You got Glover Mallory's the name. If you're looking for a smith, you found one of the best. The finest weapons in all. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gyalin. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Sky. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you. Why are my research materials constantly disappearing? What do you need, God? What do you need to take?
Until next time, Guardian. The Twilight, what, what do you need to take? It's been an honor, Guardian. Yes, champ. What do you need to take? Let's go. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. I'll sell just... Take a look.
Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Right then. I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Are you feeling sick? Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss. It seems this damnable. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? If you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Interval. Things for sale. I take a look. Do come back. What now? People have forgotten human. Oh, Roman. Oh, what happened? Be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. To kill the green bloom, Sakai. 
All thanks to you. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Captain Gallen does the business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. Northern Maiden, ship shape, ready to go. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more. But I can't risk Councillor Morvain being killed. The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own. Ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. It may be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvane simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. But I don't want it to come to that. I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Hulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dunma people's suffering. They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the council. You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mine's open, but all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstheim crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunma settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Rerurun, but there are a few from other houses. Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. 
During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years, but it became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Don't worry. You can trust Geldus. He's been with us for a long time. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. I work for Mokro. You got a problem, you talk to him. <laughs> Welcome to the Retching Nets Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Well, well. Agile's got himself a spy, does he? Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Actually, I do. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you need to let them come to you. There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. What makes you think I have it? Anytime Adril and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulans must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. When a Dunmer is laid to rest, the body is burned and returned to the ashen soil. Since the ash yam is born of the very same soil, it represents rebirth and renewal. The fact that life ends and begins anew. Back in 95, Vila Ulin came to Ravenrock with a plan to take over our town. But Fetcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redoran Guard, and then murder Councillor Morvane when we were at Lockin. He arrived alone, but spread enough coin around to start changing people's minds. Half the bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? He underestimated the Redoran Guard. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. Vila tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Veleth himself. Vila Ulan was executed a short time later, and his remains placed in the Ulan ancestral tomb. There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks. I noticed a Dunmer staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. 
Ah, but you see, this particular Dunmer was as naked as the day he was born and singing badly at the top of his lungs. As I'm watching this spectacle, a net floats over the bulwark towards him. The man looks straight up at the net, yells, have a drink, and tosses the bottle. And it never hit the ground. Well, the bottle broke on the net, and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating sort of tilted. Finally, it stopped and began to quiver. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils spewed from its maw. I've seen plenty of drunks in me day, and I'll tell you right now, that niche was sick. True story, friend. True story. Haven't heard anything lately, but check back with me. You never know. <coughs> Come back any time. My doors are always open. Welcome to the Wretching Niche Corner Club, home of the finest suit jammer that will ever grace your life. I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. Working on those standing stones feels like a bad dream. I'm glad you woke us from it. <laughs> 